What is good guys, we have Blunder vs Eternal Spirit for SPL Week 5, Blunder got bought at mids, uh, it's playing for the Tyrants, Eternal Spirit is playing for the Tigers, looking at the teams real quick, I'm expecting Toxic Spike, Toxaplex plus Sub DD Zygarde on Blunder's side with Protect, um, Combat Megaladia, Spikes Ferrothorn, either Rocks Clef or Rocks Tren. Tren is the only potential Scarf on Blunder's side, if the Tren is not Scarf then it would probably be Z-Move, and that would mean he has T-Wave on either the Clef or the Ferro is my guess, because his team is really slow otherwise. Um, on the Eternal side we see uh, most likely Mega Scizor, AV Megina, either Scarf Lari or Scarf Lando, um, Specs Battlebond Grand or Life or Protein Grand, one of the two, and then Z-Move could be on Landris. And the Clefable is most likely a Calmine variant with either Flamethrower or with Rocks. So we see Blana uh, switch out turn 1 into Heat Trend, scouting for the trick, good play, and we see it's Scarf Trend. So Blunder is most likely just gonna click Flash Can here. Eternal Spirit, if he has a coverage move like Surf or Earthquake, he could go for that, otherwise he could go hard into Greninja. Uh, but yeah, Blana doesn't lose anything here by clicking Flash Can. So Slady is short trick, the other moves are gonna be Psyshock and Draco, and then the last move could either be a coverage move like Earthquake Surf or it could be Defog, depending on if Defog is on the Scizor. Um, I assume, yeah, like Hard Greninja is the one play, the other play is staying in to see where the Heatran locks itself into. And like I said, Blunder is most likely just gonna click Flash Can. Um, the Ladia is gonna be CM Recover Stored Power, and the last move could be either T Bolt or um, Reflect Type. Something like that. Uh, Ferrothorn, probably Knock Off Power, Bleach Sheet, and Spikes. Uh, Clefable has to be the rocker now that we see that the Heatran is Scarf. Scarf Trend usually doesn't run rock, so he goes for Draco just to see what um, Blana locks himself into. You see Flash can. So now Eternal Spirit could go uh, into Scizor or into Greninja. So Blana could double here into. Um, he doubles into packs that covers the Gren and that covers the Scizor. He could have also doubled into Pharaoh or Clef, but this works out really well. Now, um, if he turn on his U-turn, I'm expecting him to U-turn out just to get the Mega up. If he doesn't have U-turn, I'm expecting him to hard switch into Clefable. Uh, if Blunder has Toxic Spikes, he could go for Toxic Spikes, but if he doesn't have that, then he could just go for Scald. Switching out is not an option for Blunder, because if you switch out and the Scizor has U-turn, then you lose all momentum. But yeah, if the Scizor could be knockoff or U-turn, but staying in um, is definitely not the play for Eternal and risking to get burned. So either you turn out or if you don't have U-turn, you go hard in the clef here always. And yeah, but Toxic Spikes just makes a lot of sense on Mondo's team because he has uh, Zygarde, which most likely sub protect Dragon Dance and Thousand Arrows. Uh, Clef is obviously going to be max defense on Blunder's side to help versus opposing Zygarde. So there's a toxic spike. Now, Eternal could go for rocks of a calm mind. He goes for calm mind. Blunder goes to his Clef. Blunder could knock off here. Or he could go back into Toxic Packs if he has Haze on his Toxic Packs. He goes into Ladias instead. So this makes me think that he doesn't have Haze on his Toxic Packs. Uh, Blunder is going to mega evolve here and either go for calm mind or reflect type. He goes hard for Calm Mind as Eternal Spirit fires off a Moonblast and does around half. Okay. So now um, Blunder is probably going to Calm Mind again to reduce the Moonblast damage. Eternal Spirit is um, spamming Moonblast here, hoping for crit, obviously. I mean, crit chance got reduced to like 4%, but he does get a drop there. And also, if you spam Moonblast, like, he's on the offensive and Blunder. Is on a defensive and there are chances that he's gonna get special attack drop or he's also there's also a chance he might get crit so he's gonna recover here to get um somewhat healthy and eventually he's gonna have to calm mind um these special attack drop are obviously annoying for blunder but at least he didn't get crit so far as as cms up again it seems just gonna moonblast spam again okay that does 46 yeah this is fine for eternal because he does get a crit chance and like if Eternal like Eternal can't really switch out because he doesn't have anything to beat this if he switches out. Maybe Scissor can beat this if it has um, if it doesn't have Reflect type, but I'm not sure. Um, because Greninja obviously would lose to Megalady when we won at this point because Megalady is CM'd up already a lot. And Greninja would get worn down by the toxic spike. So Lari doesn't even need a move to hit Greninja like T Bolt. Like even if it only has Stored Power, we'll lose Greninja will lose to Lari with T Spike being up. And Clef does have 30 Moonblasts left, Ladi has 8 Recovers left. So you can see here, um, even if Eternal doesn't get the crit, at least he's uh, stalling out Recovers from the Mega Ladias, which is not bad for him at all. 
I could see this laddie if it has reflect type. I could see this laddie just six owing eternal if if uh, he doesn't get the crit. Like if Scizor comes out, um, let's say this Clefable never gets a crit and Ladi beats the Clefable one me one. Afterwards, he would either have to hope for a crit with Greninja or for a crit with Ladi, or he would have to um, go to Scizor and hope that this doesn't have Reflect type. Um, or if he can start it out of recover, if they can run this Ladi out of recover, then maybe Scizor can beat the one me one as well. We'll have to see that. There's a Calm Mind. Yes, yeah, going for the crit here. Yeah, the like crit got reduced from 6% to 4%. I don't know the exact number. Mm. But yeah, definitely Blunder has to recover here. And Eternal is either going to see him or just spam Moonblast. Moonblast again. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Blunder does have 6 recovers left only. So, he has to let's see. He's going to recover again here. As he has, it's gonna run out of Moonblast soon if he doesn't get a crit. <laughs> I think Blunder could go for, yeah, exactly, start attacking now. Let's see how much this Moonblast does. And Blunder obviously wants to, as he gets a drop, that up drop is kind of huge. Uh, Blunder wants to recover here because he wants this to be out of range from a potential max attack bullet punch from Mega Scizor, right? So recover is definitely the play here. If he has get if Eternal gets a crit here, I think the game is just over. Because uh, Blana doesn't have haze on his packs from the way this has been played. If Blana had haze on his packs, he should have gone to packs, in my opinion. But if you have a calm mind war, like Eternal might like I don't think Eternal had another play. I think Eternal has to stay in. Cause like a CM Megalad is just super scary. So four recovers left, six moonblasts left. Moonblast hoping for crit or drop, doesn't get any of them, but Blunder's forced to recover again, so he gets another chance for to fish for crit or drop. Does not get it, so now Blunder's probably just gonna attack here and finish the Clefable with his stored power. And then afterwards, Eternal is forced into either Greninja or Scizor. Like, I think at this point you're almost out of recover, and if you recover, you give him another chance to get a special attack drop or a crit. So you should probably just attack, right? Four Moonblast left only. I mean, if you really want to risk it four more times, you could recover up, but it's, I don't think it's worth it. Because Ladi can um, potentially set up again later in the game if he doesn't want to risk. Like if if let's say the scissor would beat the Lari when we won after. What is the last move on the Lari? Recover stock power? CM. Could be either reflect type or coverage move, yeah. Not hundred percent sure. So yeah, I'm expecting a store power from Blunder as Eternal Spirit's timer is going down. Probably Eternal is thinking through this, if his clef goes down, how does he deal with this Ladi afterwards? If he has to rely on a crit with Draco uh, Ladi or with Greninja Dark Pulse, then it's looking bleak. Um, his Scizor... We don't know yet if the Ladi or the Scizor is the default guard. If the Ladi is the default guard, then the Scizor could be SD. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be Roost Scizor with Bullet Punch, and then... Could be SD U-turn, it could be SD Knockoff, or it could be... Default U-turn. Hmm. There's a star paw picking up the clef, and what does the eternal go to? He goes to Scizor, okay. So Blunder switches out, so he probably doesn't wanna. I don't know. He goes in the Clefable that predicting a U turn, and he didn't have Reflector, but Blunder SDs up, and Blunder has a knockoff. Um, he branded the clef predicting a U turn, but I think he should have gone hard into Pex, and this Pex most likely doesn't have haze because it didn't haze the um, opposing clef earlier. So this is actually a big threat. Eternal could SD again here, but. It's uh, Blunder, like Blunder is forced to recover here, I think. Um, the first knockoff did a lot, but obviously the next knockoff is gonna do less because knockoff's base power is weakened. There's the recover. So this Pex is most likely toxic. Toxic Specs recover and Skull because I don't think he has haste. So there's Skull here and he doesn't get the burn, so now Blunder has to switch um, into what? If he goes hard on the trend, Heatron is his way of revenging this, so he can't go hard on the trend. He has to go either into Ferrothorn or Zygarde, I think. Uh, the tunnel is just gonna knock off here again. There's like no reason to click anything else. Like if you SD here and 
let's say the pack skulls and burns you that would just be a choke so like i think knockoff is always the play here uh, what does blunder not need and this pack is definitely still uh nice to keep i can deal with the av megina like it has to be av megina just looking at the s turns team through help versus Grinja and versus lele because he's pretty weak to Lele, Sizzle doesn't really beat Lele at all. Because Saki Turin prevents it from bullet punching Lele. And HP Fire obviously does a lot to Sizzle. And yeah, this Pex is also nice to have for the Greninja. So I think he would go into either Zagat or Ferrothorn. He goes into Ferrothorn, Knockoff does a lot. Now Blunder is either going to Spike or Leech Seed here. Probably Leech Seed is the better play because you want damage on the Scissor. There's the Leech Seed. Now Eternal is going to Roost up because he wants health on his Scissor, obviously. As Blunder shows HP fire, so now Eternal is just gonna knock off most likely to pick up the Ferrothorn. And um, after Blunder sacks this, he can then go into his trend to scare out the Scizor. But then the Scizor is really scary because he doesn't have haste on his pack. So obviously Eternal switches out. He goes into Lardy on the overheat. Now the next overheat is not gonna kill because he's at minus two. Eternal has a few options here. He could either stay in and defog if he has that, because he showed SD on Scissor, so I'm expecting the Lari to be the defogger at this point. Or he could also go into his Landris here, maybe. Um, I don't think Blunder's gonna stay in, though. I think Blunder... Blunder could go Clef or Lari here. Like, the reason why you wouldn't go Clef is if you are fearing a potential trick. But I don't think Eternal would trick here. I think he's either gonna... I think he's either gonna Draco or defog, right? Or switch into his Landris. We don't know the Landris set yet. It's gonna be interesting to see if it's defensive or if it's offensive C move. Um, yeah, I'm expecting either the the Clef or the Lari to come out here from Blunder, depending on if you predict Defog or Trick or Draco. If you predict Draco or Defog, he goes Clef. If you predict Trick or Defog, he can go Lari. Right? Like those are the options, pretty much. Um, I mean, defogging would only help the Greninja, so I don't know if that's the play. Obviously, hmm. Greninja can be a huge threat. But between Pax and Clef, Blunder can still deal with it. Um, we see the Clefable never went for rocks on Eternal's side, so I, I think the last move on the Clef was either Flamethrower or T-Bolt, something like that. I think T-Bolt is a good option because Eternal's team looks relatively weak to Celesteela. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's T-Bolt on Clef. Could also have been Cosmic Power, not sure. Yeah, like either T-Bolt, Cosmic Power or Flamethrower. All those moves make sense because Katana can be a threat, the Flamethrower makes sense. I know he has a Scizor, but uh, Z-Move Katana can potentially break through Scizor. And if his Landris is not defensive, then Katana is also a potential huge issue for Eternal's team. Um, especially all out pummeling that can do a lot to scissor into Migi and add plus two. But yeah, I don't think Blunder's gonna stay in. I think he's gonna go Clef or Lari, as I already stated. Um, we're gonna look at the smock to chat because I really don't know what else to say. I think I pretty much said what I wanted to say about this turn. They're talking about Haze. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I would always run Haze on my Pexes. I never go out with a Toxic Pex without Haze. It helps um, versus. Gyarados, if they don't have Taunt, it helps versus Halucha, it helps versus Clefable, it helps versus Scizor, it helps versus so much, it helps versus what else? Like, I tried to um, haze non haze packs and it never worked out in my favor, so I just never use non haze again. Um, on some teams, I sometimes run knockoff over Scald on packs, but usually Scald is like pretty nice to have as well. So we do see the hard lot here expecting a trick or the defog as it does work out for Blunder. And now Eternal is forced out here into Scizor or Megiana. Huh. No, he could also go Greninja because unless this has T-Bolt. No, I, I, th I think I would go. Uh, honestly, um, Eternal has a lot of options here. Blunder could go for recover or Blunder could double out depending on what he expects Eternal to do. So he goes hard Landris, um, yeah, which was a fine play and that works. Oof, ooh, okay, yeah, that was that was um, really good play on Eternal Spirit Spot because Blunder went into Pex to get Regenerator. So Re Eternal read that well. Eternal could get up his rocks here. I think Blunder has to go into Clefable. 
Zygarde would... Oh, no, Zygarde is not the play. He has to go Clefable here. Eternal? If this is a uh, SD offensive Landru, how does Blunder even beat this? He just gets up rocks. Um, if it's offensive, he could SD or Z move here and put Blunder in a huge... Give Blunder a lot of troubles, but I, th I think he's... I think he's just offensive. Blunder gets up rocks. So that can uh, roost up here. So this is... If this is Flamethrower Craft, that would be clutch for Blunder. I don't remember if it revealed any moves other than rocks. I don't think it did. Yeah, it didn't reveal anything. So he roosts up. Now, Eternal doesn't want to stay into Risk the Burn. He goes Heart Ninja. Blunder doubles in the Heatran, but Heatran is forced out here. Because it cannot kill Greninja from this range. So, Blunder could go into his packs here to scour where the Greninja locks itself into. Eternal could just go for Spikes here. Um, just to lay him up, because Spikes would help chip down the Zygarde uh, packs and the Heatran. And if he can get rid of the Heatran, then the Scissor can potentially win the game for Eternal Spirit. So he gets up a spike. Um, I'm expecting a toxic spike here from Blunder as Eternal just decides to lay up more spikes. So he's probably gonna go for the third layer. He's locked into spikes though, most likely. Um, there's still a slight chance that this is Z move, um, Greninja, but he's most likely locked in. So he goes hard into Zygarde here, anticipating the Greninja to go for spike again and being locked in. So it's leftovers, which confirms the most likely sub DD, sub -DD set with Thousand Arrows and protect. So uh, Eternal is forced into his Lando here or Scizor, but I assume Landus is gonna come out. Landus is at full. Um, Landus is either leftovers or Helmut, we'll have to see that. Cause he didn't, he went out on the cliff and like as if his Lando was defensive. So unless he doubles in the Heatran, unless this is HP Ice Tran, I don't think this is gonna be able to kill the Lando. Maybe Overheat can kill. Uh, Eternal could also sack his, Eternal could sack his Lari here. He's not gonna defog again in this game because he wants up all these hazards. Bernard's team doesn't have defog at all. I don't think his last move on Lari is defog. Yeah, he has just uh, hazard stack, and a lot of times the opponent is gonna defog with a team like this. The opponent is gonna defog for you if you have uh, rocks, spikes, and toxic spikes. Um, so he does just sack the Lari. I assume you see overheats. Yup. Now, Greninja or Lando can come out. Greninja is there. Blana could go into his clef or his pex here, most likely Clefable, because if Eternal goes for pump, then he can sack the Heatran afterwards because it dies to Hazards, and then he can prevent him from giving him the Ash, and if he goes for Dark Pulse, it works out even better. And I don't remember how healthy the pex is with all up the Hazards, the Hazards cannot get rid of the regen health that pex gets back, so pex would have been low. So I think... That was relatively obvious that he was gonna go clef there. Uh, Eternal doesn't really have a. S he can, nah, I think Eternal should have gone Scizor there. Maybe he tried to predict him to double. But yeah, pretty much Heatran now dies to Hazard, which is nice for Eternal. So he can definitely win with uh, SD Scizor. Scizor beats um, everything 1v1 besides maybe the Pex. If the Pex gets a burn, it can maybe beat the Scizor. Or if the Lari's last move is HP Fire. But if the Lari's last move is HP Fire, I think Blunder would have gone for it earlier. Like. Yeah, 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 it's definitely not HP fire. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how Blunder can win, beat the Scizor at this point. I think he has to um, hope for Skull Burns. Um, Eternal doesn't have much of a play. Like, he could go on the Hard Lando, but Hard Lando, if he loses health on that, that can't, could open up the Zygarde. Even though I think Scizor should beat Zygarde when we won. I don't know, Eternal kind of has to sack something here, either the Gren or the... Like, if he goes in the Megina, that doesn't really do anything for Eternal. Blunder could either softball spam to keep his Clef at full, or he could fire off a Moonblast. He just softballed, and yeah, he knows the Greninja is getting worn down by T-Spike, so he's just softballing to keep his Clef at full. And Eternal realizes that and goes hard into Scizor. Now he's gonna SD up here, Blunder's forced into, yeah, into packs, pretty much. Um, he could SD again, honestly. He knocks as he's gonna be forced to recover, yeah. He could have SD'd again, honestly, because this doesn't have haze, I'm pretty sure at this point. Yeah, there's no way it has haze. Now. The Pex is running out of recover, so. Scizor might be able to just beat Blunder at this point, even if he gets the burn. But if he doesn't get the burn, he, like, super loses to the Scizor. If he gets the burn, there is some hope. Mm. Yeah, like, Eternal. I think could SD again here, but just spamming knockoff is also a fine play because you do force the packs to 
keep recovering as it has certain recovers left still so it's go it's gonna i think knockoff has a lot of pp which is gonna come and clutch here for eternal is what i'm trying to say i think knockoff has 32 pp if i recall correctly Uh, yeah, I've seen, we have seen um, Recover, Scald, I think we've seen Scald earlier in the scissor, and we have seen Toxic Spike, so Eternal doesn't want to risk it. I think he should have just stayed in, honestly. Now, what is Megina going to go for? I mean, this has to be AV Megina, he just Volt Switches, into what now? Sekiyo Go Ninja or Sekiyo Lando? Um, I assume Planda is either Scald or Recovering here, I'm probably just going to Recover. See the Go Ninja come out. Now... But I can recover spam or he could go in the clef. Good play by Eternal going into Landris. And now... Uh, Blunder's gonna be, be forced to go into Clefable here because... You don't want to risk your packs getting low. Because if your packs gets low with all their hazards up, you then you lose to Scizor, right? So he goes in the clef. Uh, clef can just softball it up here as Eternal is gonna U-turn out into Scizor most likely. Yeah, but like I said, he should have just stayed in with the scissor, I think, on the packs. No, I mean, I kind of get his play, but at one point, he's going to have to... We're going to have to scissor versus pack scenario again, and he's going to come down to if he gets burned. Even if he gets burned, he might be able to beat the packs, um, because packs is forced to recover here. Knock off his way more PP than recover, obviously. As these again, let's see, if we see his scald recover, we see his scald. And we see the burner. You guys probably figured already, because the chat went wild. So that was huge for Blunder. If he didn't get that, it was pretty much would have been game over. I think he has like nine or ten recovers left. I didn't really count, but yeah, Eternal goes to plus six, which is obviously the correct play. Um, the burn nerf that we had in Sun and Moon obviously is amazing for Eternal here. Otherwise, he would be forced to roost more often with his Scizor. So I assume, yeah, just see a knockoff here. Scald. So now Eternal um, should roost up here as he has thirteen roosts left. Twenty-two knockoff. If I read that correct. Recover has 9 left, okay, so this is definitely in Eternal's favor. Yeah, this is um, one of the reasons why you never run non-haste packs. Um, I know that Toxic Spice, Toxic Spice can be really cool though. Especially for stuff like Zapdos, if you can Toxic that, but you also have Toxic Spike as well. Then you can keep, like the Zapdos is eventually forced out because it cannot keep staying in. If you Toxic it, and then you can get up T-Spike, so that's like a cool combo, but in this matchup, obviously, Haze would have been better. So, I think he just knocks off again here. Blunder is forced to recover. Like, he could also roost, expecting Blunder to recover, but I don't necessarily think that was... Yeah. I don't necessarily think that's the play. Because... I think he should be a bit more careful with his roosts. But it should be fine for Eternal. So, you just knock here, you... And... Blunder didn't recover, which means now his pex dies, um, but Roost is always the play here for Eternal. Blunder sacks the Heatran. Like, no matter what, no matter if the pex stayed in there or if Blunder switched, Roost was always the play, and Eternal makes the correct play. Obviously, a chat goes super wild. Now, Bullet Punch here is the play, as Blunder is either gonna Thousand Arrows or Protect. I assume Bullet Punch is not gonna kill, because Saga is obviously bulky. I'm expecting, like, Maybe 34% from this bullet punch? Let's see. But yeah, at this point, I'm pretty sure the scissor just wins the game for Eternal. As Blender goes for Protect the expecting the bullet punch, and he's gonna get some leftovers back. Get some chip with the burn, but this doesn't matter. Eternal has this, I'm pretty sure. 38, okay. Dragon Dance is up. Now he has to protect again here, but I think always Bullet Punch here is the play. There's no point in like trying to roost or something like that, and then like have Blunder attack and crit you with thousand arrows. Like Bullet Punch was always the play. Blunder goes for double protect, doesn't get it, and now the game just ends because Clefable should if does if it doesn't die, it takes like 90 from Bullet Punch, but it just dies in one. I think that was a roll. Uh, Pax dies to knock off. And Ladi dies to bullet punch, I'm pretty sure. So Eternal takes the game. Eternal's 5-0 and now in SPL, and I also think he went undefeated in Snake Draft, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So he's on an absolute fire. Blana didn't necessarily Blana didn't misplay at all, I think, right? He just didn't have haze on his packs, which sucked, because that would have helped him versus the Scizor. 
If he had haste, I don't see how Eternal could have won this. I'm really surprised by the fact that Eternal has a, def uh, a CM Clef, which is most likely max defense, most likely. Mm -hmm. And also a defensive land, though, because I would expect the lander to be more offensive when he has already a defensive Clef. And then, like, potential Z move land or, or like, off plate or something like that. But I'm gonna pause real quick. We're gonna look at the score. I mean, the score is 1 0 for Tigers. Yeah, you guys see it here, um, Eternal versus Blunder, now 1-0 up for the Tigers, and P2 versus Zomok is going to be later tonight, you guys can expect it as well. I'm going to catch that live, thank you for watching, smash that like button if you enjoyed, and peace out friends.